God always has a plan. Pero cuánto saben que Dios siempre tiene un plan. Amen. Now she has seven. Ahora tiene siete. And they're in seven different parts of the world. Están en siete lugares diferentes del mundo. Did anybody see the movie War Room in here? Raise your hand if you did. Alguien vio la película War Room? Powerful movie. Una película poderosa. We have a war room in our home. Tenemos un cuarto de guerra en nuestro hogar. All seven of our children are on the wall. Siete de nuestros hijos están en la pared. My wife goes in every day and touches every picture. Y mi esposa entra cada día y toca cada retrato. Prays for them every day. Ora por ellos todos los días. Says, Lord, touch my babies. Dice, Señor, bendice a mis bebés. She writes to them, they write to her. Ella le escribe, ellos le escriben de regreso. I'm going to ask some of you in this room today to do something bigger than yourself. Le voy a pedir a algunos de ustedes que hagan algo que es más grande que usted. I'm going to ask the ushers to come forward and face the audience. Le voy a pedir a los sugieres que pasen hacia el frente y, y miren a la audiencia. Now this is the part where some of you might say, I'd like a little girl or I'd like a little boy. We don't do it that way. First lady, when I laid hands on these children today, I said, God, you give the child to the person that that person needs. You give the person to the child that that child needs. In, in church, can I tell you the stories are amazing? I've had people come to me and say, I'm a nurse. This little girl wants to be a nurse. I've had, I've had people say, my anniversary or my birthday is their birthday. I got to tell you one more on a funny note. I was at a biker church in Wyoming. The, 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 the pulpit was a Harley Davidson. It was amazing. <laughs> a guy came up to me after the service. Big, big, big guy. Six foot eight. Five hundred pounds. 500 libras. Tattoos, leather. Tatuaje, cuero. He's crying like he's five years old. Llorando como un niño de cinco años. I looked at him and I said, "Dude, are you all right?" Y le miré, Oye, ¿tú estás bien? He said, "Pastor, two years ago I wrecked my Harley Davidson." He said, "Pastor, dos años atrás." Destruí, destruí he, mi he said, Pastor, for two years I've been asking the Lord to give me a new Harley. Por, por dos años le pedí al Señor, Dame una Harley de nuevo. He sponsored a little boy. Él auspició un niño. And his name was Harley. Y su nombre era Harley. <laughs> He said, it's not the Harley that I was praying for. No era la Harley que yo quería. He said, but I think I love this one more. Pero amo esta Harley aún más. And last but not least, y último. maybe you're hearing you say, well, if I do this, Pastor, I have to do it a long time, right? You're not locked into anything. No estás encerrado por algo you definido. can sponsor a child for one year you can sponsor a child for two months you can sponsor a child four months or ten years Cuatro meses, diez años. but every month that you sponsor them Pero cada mes que usted auspicia, you are giving a child somewhere in the world le está dando un niño en el mundo, a chance that they will never have la oportunidad que nunca tendrán. so if you're here today so estás aquí hoy, and you say pastor y dice, pastor I could go out to eat one time less a month. Yo puedo no salir a comer una vez al mes. And, and change the life of a child. Y cambiar la vida de un niño. If that's you, all I'm going to ask you to do. Si ese es usted, solamente le voy a pedir. Simply raise your hand, and they'll le, come put one in your hand. Levanta tu mano, y los sugieres van a poner algo en su mano. Would you do that right now? Hágase conmigo en este momento. Ushers, begin to make your way back if you would. Sugieres, trabajen ahí y entreguen los folletos. Please keep your hand up until they put one in your hand. Mantenga su mano levantada. En lo que ellos le ponen una en su mano. Thank you. Keep your hand up until you receive one in your Mantenga hand. Su mano levantada hasta que reciba su niño. I don't care if you have to wave at them, whistle at them, no me importa si tiene que llamarle, clap your hands, silbarle, yell at them. Su atención, gritarle. Thank you, thank you. Gracias. Thank you so much. Muchas Please gracias. keep your hand up until one is in your hand. Sigue con su mano levantada hasta que llegue su niño. God bless you in the back. Dios le bendiga. Don't want to miss anybody. Just wave if you have not received a si child. Si no ha recibido yet. su niño, muy bien. Dios le bendiga. Gracias. Dios le bendiga. Gracias. In the allá very atrás. back on my right. Atrás allí, a la derecha al final. Gracias. Anyone else? Just wave if you have not received your child yet. In the back, yes. Alguien más, levante su mano si no ha recibido su niño. Thank you, ushers. 
Muchas gracias lo sugieres. I know I know you're very anxious to look at the child right now. Sé que está muy ansioso de ver su niño en este momento. I'm going to have you look at me for one moment. Pero quiero que me miren por un momento. What you have in your hands is a child. Lo que tienen en su mano es un niño. I have no other record of this child. Yo no tengo ningún otro récord de ese niño. If you look in the middle, you'll see there's an area to fill out. Si usted ve en el medio va a ver que hay una información ahí. I'm going to ask you to do that during the course of this service. Durante este servicio le voy a pedir que llene esa información. After the service is over. Después que se termine Please meet me at the table in the lobby. Yo voy a estar en una mesa. Se pueden encontrar conmigo. I'll tear this page out, and you'll be on your way. Yo saco esta página para mí. Ustedes pueden ir de camino. Please listen. This is the most important thing I'm about to say. Esto es lo más importante que yo voy a decir. If you took a child, si tú tomaste un niño, and you walk out of this building today, y sale de este lugar hoy, with this, con esto, but I don't have this middle card. Pero yo no tengo esta información. You've officially kidnapped my child. Tú has secuestrado mi niño. And I don't want that. Y yo no quiero eso. So take a few moments. Toma algunos minutos. Fill it out. Llena la información. Then you'll keep this. Usted se queda con el folleto. And in about a month, you're going to get an entire packet. Y en un mes vas a recibir un paquete completo. Everything you need to know about your child. Todo acerca de lo que tiene que saber de su niño. But when you get a letter in the mail from your child. Pero cuando usted recibe una carta en el correo de su niño. Saying thank you for changing my life. Diciéndote gracias por cambiar mi vida. It's the most rewarding feeling in the world. Can we make some noise for these children today? Thank you so very much. Will you take the hand of the person next to you right now? Ask the Lord to bless this time together. Father God, we come before you today. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your presence. Lord, thank you for last week. Last month. But we're not satisfied. We want you to do it again. Do it again in our hearts. Do it again in our lives. And after it's all been said and done. And we leave this place. Let us know that we know. We have been in your house. Let us know we've been in your presence. We believe it and receive it. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, Give the Lord praise. I had no idea what your pastor has spoke to you in the last few weeks. Yo no tengo idea de lo que el pastor le ha hablado con con la congregación las últimas semanas. But the word that the Lord gave me for you today. Pero la palabra que Dios me dio para ustedes hoy is passion. Es pasión. Someone shout passion. Alguien grita pasión. How many believe that you have to have passion? ¿Cuántos creen que deben de tener pasión? Then when I found out that pastor spoke on passion a couple of weeks ago, I knew this was a rhema word for you. I want to say this. I think it's going to get an amen. I'm not saying it to get an amen. But it's just the truth. Our world is jacked up. Nuestro mundo no sirve. And I'm not just talking about because Bruce Jenner wanted to be Caitlyn. <laughs> I'm not just talking about same-sex marriage. No estoy hablando de matrimonios de mismo sexo. Our country is wrecked. Nuestra with AIDS and rape. Nuestra vida, nuestro, nuestra, nuestra nación. Gangs, drive-by shootings. Está destruida con matanza, homicidio. Drug addiction, alcoholism. Adicción a la droga, alcoholismo. Pornography and on and on and on the list goes. Pornografía. The Ten Commandments have been thrown out. Los diez mandamientos han sido tirados. Prayers out of schools. La oración está fuera de las escuelas. There are now churches that are ordaining practicing homosexuals. Hay iglesias que están ordenando ministros homosexuales y lesbianas. We are going the wrong way. Estamos en el camino incorrecto. Amen. Amen. So now more than ever, Ahora más que nunca, we as a church como iglesia, have got to rise up tenemos que levantarnos and say, what is my passion? Y decir, ¿cuál es mi pasión? What was I created to do? ¿Para qué fue creado? Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, Efesios 2, 10 is an incredible passage of scripture. Es, es un pasaje poderoso. And this is what it says. Y esto es lo que dice. It says, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works that God prepared in advance for us to do. Isn't that a mind blower? No es eso interesante. The reason God created you was to do good works. Es para hacer buen trabajo. One version says we are his masterpiece. Una versión dice que nosotros somos su I obra like de that. excelencia. I like that. Me gusta eso. God created you. Dios te creó. He made you one of a kind. Te hizo único. He made you a masterpiece. Te hizo una obra de he excelencia. would never duplicate you. Nunca te va a duplicar. When God created you, Dios te creó, he looked at you and said, te miró y dijo, I'll never do that again. Yo nunca voy a hacer eso de nuevo. 
you're a masterpiece. Eres una obra de excelencia. So you got to figure out your calling. So, tienes que ver cuál es tu llamado. so when you look at your life, Cuando miras tu vida, rather than saying, well, this is what I went to school for, en vez de decir, yo fui a la escuela para esto, or this is what people tell me I'm good at, what is it in your life that when you do it, ¿Qué? it makes you feel whole? ¿Qué es el la cosa en tu vida que cuando tú lo haces te hace sentir completo. Church, what is it in your life that when you do it, there's something in you that says I was created to do this. Iglesia, ¿qué hay en tu vida que cuando tú haces algo te dices a tú mismo yo fui creado para hacer esto? There's an old movie out there called Chariots of Fire. Hay una película que se llama Has anybody Carros seen, de Fuego. Has anybody seen Chariots of Fire? ¿Alguien ha visto Carros de Fuego? Some of you. How many have not seen Chariots of Fire? ¿Cuántos no han visto Carros de Fuego? Okay, you weren't born. <laughs> Chariots of Fire is a movie Carro de Fuego, una película. about a family of missionaries. De una familia de misioneros. They're in ministry. They're doing God's work. Ellos están en ministerio. But one of the young men is very passionate about running in the Olympics. Pero uno de los muchachos tiene la pasión para correr en las Olimpiadas. That's his dream. That's es, his passion. Ese es su sueño, su pasión. He wants to run. Él quiere correr. So he gets up every day and he runs and he trains and he runs. So se levanta todos los días, corre, entrena, corre. And there's a scene in the movie una en la película, where he has an argument with his family. Cuando él tiene una discusión con su and familia, they come and they confront him. Ellos vienen y lo confrontan, and they say these words, le, Why do you run all the time? Y le dicen esta palabra, ¿Por qué corres todo el tiempo? You get up every day and run and run and run. Te levanta todos los días y corre, corre, corre. You are so consumed by this dream to run in the Olympics. Estás consumido por este sueño de correr en las Olimpiadas. You're supposed to be a missionary. Se supone que seas un misionero. He looks at his family and says, y le mira a la familia y le dice, But when I run, pero cuando corro, I feel God's pleasure. Yo siento el placer de Dios. Church, I'm asking you right now. Te estoy preguntando, iglesia. What is it in your life? ¿Qué es en tu vida? That when you do it, que cuando lo haces, you feel God's pleasure. Sientes el placer Because de Dios. that's the call of God on your life. Ese es el llamado de Dios I used para to tu think vida. the opposite. Antes era lo opuesto. I used to think God called you to do stuff you hated doing. Yo, yo pensaba que Dios te llamaba a hacer las cosas que tú odiabas. I heard a lot of Christians whine and complain. Porque siempre veía a los cristianos dando quejas. Can I say the church people are the biggest, fattest babies on the face of the planet. Yo puedo decir que la gente de la iglesia son los bebés más grandes que existen en el planeta. I don't want to get in y'all's faces, but yo no me quiero meter en su cara. I can go to a bar and take a drunk and he can handle problems better than church folks. Pero yo puedo ir a una barra, hablar con un borracho y puede manejar problemas mejor que mucha gente de la iglesia. Say, what do you mean? ¿Qué significa con eso? Have you ever asked a Christian, how's it going? Le has preguntado a un cristiano, ¿cómo te va en el día de hoy? Worst mistake of your life. <laughs> no hagas eso, el, el peor error de tu vida. Ask a church person, how's it going? Pregunta a una persona de iglesia, ¿cómo te va hoy? They'll say, well, I'll make it, I guess. Bueno, sí, voy, voy a lograrlo. Who wanna follow you? ¿Quién te va a querer seguir? Hey, what are you doing here at the church? ¿Qué haces aquí en la iglesia? Well, I greet people at the door. I hate it, but I'm doing it for Jesus. Eh, yo saludo a la gente. Yo odio lo que hago, pero lo hago para Cristo. <laughs> Hey, can you help out in the nursery? ¿Puedes ayudarnos en la cuna? Well, pff, I guess so. Bueno, pff, I, no tengo de otra. You help out on the worship team? ¿Puedes ayudar con la adoración? Can you teach a class? ¿Puedes enseñar una clase? Can you help out in the youth ministry? ¿Puedes ayudar con los jóvenes? Can you be an usher? ¿Puedes ser un mujer? Well, pff, I guess so. Bueno, pff, no tengo otra opción. They used to think, man, God must call you to do stuff that's terrible. Antes yo pensaba, Dios te, te llama para hacer cosas que son horribles. <laughs> I always heard people whine and gripe and complain. Y siempre escuché a la gente darse quejas. And I'm not saying that there aren't hard moments. Y yo no estoy diciendo que no hay momentos difíciles. I'm not saying that there aren't times that we won't struggle. Donde hay momentos que no vamos a pasar problemas. What I'm saying is, lo que estoy diciendo es, God doesn't call you to do something Dios no te llama a hacer algo that he didn't create you to do. En el cual no te creó para and hacer. when you do it, you'll sense that it's right. Y cuando tú lo haces, vas a sentir la diferencia. Who you are. Vas a saber que ese quien tú eres. You'll sense that's who you were created to be. Vas a sentir que eso fue lo que tú fuiste creado. When I started creado. ministry, cuando yo comencé en el ministerio, back in 19, none of your business. En el 1900, <laughs> no le importa. I started in youth ministry. Comencé en, en, con los jóvenes. The pastor of our church, el pastor de nuestra iglesia, he had a passion for Mexico. Él tiene una pasión para México. He wanted to see Mexico saved. Él quería ver México salvo. So when he founded the church, cuando él levantó la iglesia, they matched it and built a sister church in Mexico. Hicieron una iglesia hija en México. But it didn't stop there. Pero no paró ahí. He told his congregation, le dijo a la congregación, every year that we exist, cada año que existamos, as long as we exist, mientras nosotros existamos, every year we'll build another church in Mexico. Todo año, cada año vamos a hacer una iglesia, levantar una iglesia en México. So the next year they did it again. So el próximo año and lo hicieron de nuevo. And the next and the next it was always otro, the same. El otro siempre lo mismo. He'd get up every year. Se levantaba todos los años. Tell the congregation. Le dice a la congregación, we're building another church in Mexico. Vamos a levantar otra iglesia en México. Everybody would applaud. Todo el mundo aplaudía. He would 
cast vision. Él daba la visión. The church would take up pledges. Y la, y la iglesia levantaba eh, ofrendas. During the year when the money was collected, durante el año cuando se colectaba they would el dinero, a team together, ponían un equipo junto, go over to Mexico, iban a México, throw up a metal building, buscaban un, un, una estructura, un edificio, and, and build a church. Y levantaban una iglesia. They've built over 73 churches Levantaron for the kingdom of God in Mexico. Levantaron 73 iglesias en Come México. Come on, give the Lord praise for that. Vamos, dale a Dios alabanza. When I say they built a church, please understand. Cuando yo dije que levantaron una iglesia, entiendan esto. They didn't go to the beach and play volleyball and pass out tracts and call it a trip. Ellos no fueron a la playa a jugar y después pasaron dos o tres tratados y llamaron un misionero. Ellos fueron al barrio. They went to the barrio. Hey. <laughs> They went to the places where there was no running water. People were living in cardboard boxes. I was a youth pastor at that time. So every year, some of my teenagers would want to go on the trip. They'd always come and beg me every year. Pastor Michael, I want to go. Please let me go to Mexico. And I was always very leery about letting a teenager go. Because how many of you know that teenagers don't really uh, work. Can I get a no <laughs> But I'd let them go. Pero yo los ahí. And I got to tell you something. That first day, they were working. Y yo te digo, el primer día, ellos that first day, they were working hard. El primer día, they were handing somebody a hammer. They were a pushing alguien. around a, a wheelbarrow. Ellos todo. They had some wood in their hands. En sus manos. That, that first day, those teenagers were working. El primer día, esos jóvenes trabajaron. That second day, <laughs> It was always about that third day y al tercer día, that they were all running around out in the streets, ya estaban corriendo por la calle, playing with little kids, jugando con los niños, passing out toothbrushes as gifts. Pasando cepillos de dientes como I know regalos. some of you are saying, toothbrush, that's not a gift. Y usted dice, un cepillo de dientes well, como they're regalo. not spoiled like we are here in Texas. Pero como ustedes quizás no tienen they had la, toothbrushes and they were glad to have them. Ellos tenían cepillos de dientes y estaban contentos por tenerlo. We gave a kid a can of Coke. Le dimos un, un niño una, una can him, of coke. We saw him three days later. Lo vimos tres, tres días después. He still had the can of coke in his hand. Todavía tenía la lata de Coca-Cola en su mano. He had not even opened it. No la había abierto. He was walking around like it was a piece of gold or something. Él estaba caminando como si fuera oro. So now no longer were my students building, you know, the physical church. Ya los estudiantes no estaban levantando un edificio físico. Trust me, they were building a church. Ellos estaban levantando una iglesia. Because they were loving kids. Porque estaban amando a los niños. They were holding kids. Estaban aguantando niños. They were feeding children. So one of my students came home. So uno de mis estudiantes regresó. Her name was Allison. Se llamaba Allison. She was only 16. 16 años. She was so excited. Ella estaba tan contenta. She came home and said, Pastor Michael, now I know. Y le dije, Pastor, ahora yo sé. I said, what do you mean now you know? ¿Qué esto significa que ahora tú sabes? Said, now I know what I'm supposed to do with my life. Ahora yo sé lo que se supone que yo haga con mi vida. And I said, what? Y yo le dije, ¿qué? She said, play with kids. Jugar con niños. Isn't that awesome? And all of a sudden, y de repente, the call of God on her life el llamado de Dios sobre su vida was something she didn't even know was there. Fue algo que ella ni sabía que estaba the ahí. call of God on her life was to play with kids, el llamado de Dios para su vida to que love no kids, con niños, amar a los niños, to be with kids. Estar con niños. Are you ready for this? ¿Está listo para esto? She is now the children's pastor ella es la pastora de los niños, in Denton, Texas, in Denton, Texas pastoring 400 kids every single Sunday. Come on, somebody. Los domingos. Sometimes God moves in ways that we are blown away at. Muchas some asking you, what do you love to do? When you find that thing, that could be the call of God on your life. This better get the biggest amen of the morning. I want, I want it to shake the room. Are you ready? Everyone in this room is amazing. Come on, somebody. God is not in the business no está en el of making little cookie cutter Christians de hacer we, we all look the same que igual, dress the same nos igual, worship the same igual, read our Bible the same igual, God made you incredible Dios te hizo He made you one of a kind te hizo único. He would never duplicate you nunca te va a God made you a masterpiece te hizo una obra de arte. We had someone in our church. Teníamos a alguien en nuestra iglesia. He was very passionate too. Él tenía mucha pasión. He loved to beat people up. Él le, le, le gustaba pegarle a la gente. I'm dead serious. De verdad. He loved to fight. Él le gustaba pelear. 
uh, he every week he would get in fights. Cada semana peleaba. He was passionate about fighting. Era apasionado de, para pelear. So he decided to make it his job. Solo hizo su trabajo. He's an MMA fighter. Does that make a little bit more sense? Él trabaja. Él él es un un peleador de MMA. I don't want you to think he was in Walmart <laughs> punching people in the no face. No creo que usted piensa que estaba en las tiendas. Do we have any UFC pegando? fans in the house? UFC fans? Hay fanáticos de la UFC. Come on, make some noise, UFC fans. Woo! I love some UFC. A mí me encanta UFC. I don't like boxing. A él no le gusta el boxeo. I think boxing's for cream puffs. Es que el boxeo son para la gente débil. Because they put pillows on their hands. Porque ponen almohadas en sus manos. They say, oh, I'm tough, I'm a boxer. Él me dice, yo soy fuerte, soy un boxeador. Got pillows on your hands. Tienes almohadas en tus manos. Got sequin pants on. Tienes pantalones de secuencia. Pants on like that. If you're going to be a man, Pero si vas a ser un hombre, get in the octagon and punch someone in the face. Ponte en el octagon y pégale a alguien en la cara. <laughs> but how many you know God always has a plan? Pero Dios siempre tiene un plan. And I had two born-again MMA fighters in my yo church. Tenía dos cristianos que le gustaba pelear MMA. They invited Jason to my church. Ellos invitaron a Jason a su iglesia. He had never been to church. Él nunca había estado en la iglesia. Jason had never walked in the doors of a church. Jason nunca había entrado en la iglesia. Matter of fact, he used to tease me. Él antes me, 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 me he, he'd say, Pastor, you don't know what I was doing out at the club last night. I shouldn't come in the church today. Él me decía, tú no sabes lo que yo estaba haciendo ayer en un club nocturno. He would say, I was at the bar last night. Yo estaba en la barra ayer. He'd say, Pastor, the walls may cave in. La, 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 las paredes se van a caer and en la iglesia. Would, I would just tell him, Jason, we love you. Yo le decía, Jason, te amamos. We're just glad you're here. Estamos contentos que estás aquí. So he kept coming. So siguió viniendo. He liked our church. Le gustó nuestra iglesia. He started in the back. Y comenzó atrás. But after a couple of weeks, he'd move up a little bit. Después de varias semanas, se movió un poquito más para frente. After about a month, he'd move up a little bit. After about three months, he was sitting on the front row. We had a comedy night at our church. Just like we're going to have here tonight. 3,000 people showed up at our church. 700 people came forward to give their hearts to Jesus. The first one was Jason. Come on, somebody. Gave his heart to Jesus. Started serving the Lord. Now it's funny. Because every time Jason had a fight, he would call me for prayer. Because <laughs> I'm his pastor. Soy su pastor. So he called me on the phone. Me ring, ring. He's like, hey, uh, pastor, guess what? Y de pastor, ¿a que no sabe qué? I said, what's going on, Jason? Yo dije, ¿Qué pasa, Jason? He said, pastor, I got to fight tomorrow night. Yo tengo que pelear mañana. He said, would you pray for me? Ora por mí. You're my pastor. I need you to pray for me. Yo mi pastor, yo que I por said, mí. absolutely. How can I agree with you? Y yo dije, ¿Cómo puedo entrar en acuerdo contigo? He said, pastor, pray that I crush that guy's face. <laughs> How do you do that? I can't say, Lord, help him crush his face in the name of Jesus. I can't do that. So I would just say, Lord, through his training, through his talents, help him to be victorious. <laughs> you know, anything. Just throw the guy bone anyway. Whatever. So uh, he got a title fight. Downtown at the AA Center. In downtown. A bunch of us decided to go down and support Jason fight. That night he won the belt. All right, about three months goes by. He calls me on the phone. He says, Pastor, guess what? I said, Jason, what's going on? He said, I'm starting a Bible study. I said, Man, that's awesome at the church. He said, nope, at the octagon. I said, what? He said, I'm starting a Bible study in the ring. Estoy comenzando un estudio I said, bíblico how can you do that? Ring. ¿Cómo vas a hacer eso? He said, Pastor, I'm the champ. Yo soy el campeón. He said, I've got the belt. Yo tengo la correa. Now that I've got the belt, Ahora que tengo la correa, guys want me to train them. La gente que yo los he said, but I decided I'm not going to train them yo no los voy a entrenar until they come to my Bible study. Que vengan a mi estudio bíblico. So they're coming to the Bible study, so vienen al estudio bíblico, getting saved, salvándose, and they punch each other in the face. Y después se dan en la cara. Do you remember the disciples in Matthew chapter 16? I remember because it's right here in my notes. <laughs> the Bible says the disciples had been following Jesus for about a year and a half. They'd seen Jesus do amazing things. Isn't it amazing how we get desensitized to the word of God? 
desentizamos de la palabra de Dios. Do you remember when you first got saved? ¿Te acuerdas la primera vez que fuiste salvo? How excited you were. Cuán contento estabas. When you first got saved, cuando recibiste a Cristo, you would read the Bible, leías la Biblia, and it just came to life. Y se te hacía vida. You know what happens after a while? ¿Se lo que pasa después de un tiempo? We calm down. Nos calmamos. We get adjusted. Nos ajustamos. And it doesn't impact us the way that it used to. Y no nos impacta de la misma manera que hacía antes. Like take for instance right now. En este momento, I could say Jesus walked on water. Yo puedo decir Jesús caminó sobre las aguas. You just validated my point. Validaron mi punto. I just told you about a miracle. Te dije de un milagro. It sounded like a library in here. Y parecía una librería. You should have went nuts. Se supone que usted hubiera gritado. You want to know why? ¿Sabes por qué? Because it's a miracle. Porque es un milagro. I'm going to say it again. Lo voy a hacer de nuevo. You're going to go nuts like you should have the first time. Ustedes van a actuar como deberían hacerlo la primera vez. I'll even do it preacher style. Lo voy a hacer como un predicador. I want you to know. Yo quiero que ustedes sepan. Did Jesus? Que Jesús. He walked on water. Él caminó sobre las aguas. It was all right. Cast out devils. Raise the dead. Fed a multitude. And the disciples are giving to hang out with this man. How many know if you're the disciples and you're getting to hang out with Jesus, you're going to be feeling pretty good about yourself. You're hanging out with the Son of God. Have you ever met someone famous and their fame kind of rubbed off on you? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you saw a Dallas Cowboy or a Dallas, Cowboy. Dallas Maverick. Dallas Mavericks. They were in a mall. You kind of geeked out like... <laughs> <laughs> Freaked out a little bit. I used to think people like this were silly. Antes yo pensaba que la gente como ellos eran bien They're chistosos. Just people, right? Solamente son personas. They put on their pants one leg at a time, right? Se ponen right? sus pantalones una pierna a la like vez. Just like all of us. Como nosotros. People who would go crazy over famous people. La gente se vuelve loco por la gente famosa. Used to make me laugh. Me hacía reír. Then it happened to me. Y después me pasó a mí. I'm downtown Chicago. Estoy en downtown Chicago. Standing in a Starbucks. Estoy en un Starbucks. And Michael Jordan comes and stands right next to me. Ooh. Michael Jordan goes stands next to me. And I go. <laughs> Y yo hago, oh. I'm freaking out. No sé cómo actuar. I came home. Llegué a casa. We had a prophet at our church. Tenemos una profeta en nuestra iglesia. He spoke a prophetic word over me. Ella eh, declaró una palabra profética sobre mí. He said, Michael, mí. celebrities are going to come into your path. Y me dijo, Michael, gente famosa van a cruzar tu camino. You're going to be able to share your testimony. Vas a poder compartir tu testimonio. With some famous people. Con gente famosa. In the back of my mind, I thought. Y detrás de mi mente yo dice. Yeah, right. Sí, cómo no. Are you ready for this? The next six weeks I got on an airplane. After he spoke that word over me, a major celebrity sat down right next to me. So I get on a plane. This will mean nothing to you younger. <laughs> but to you old folks, it was Pete Rose. <laughs> I mean, he's almost a Hall of Famer. He invented the front slide. I called my friend and said, Pete Rose is sitting next to me. Got on a plane the next week. Evander Holyfield sits down next to me. I'm talking to him, right? I'm trying not to stare at his ear. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> we go out to eat. I'm walking into a restaurant with Evander Holyfield. Estoy entrando a un restaurante con Evander Holyfield. I looked at the waiter and said, "Yeah, me and Evander table for two." Le dije, "Mira, el mesero sí, Evander y yo, una mesa para dos." We're buddies. Somos amigos. Get on a plane the next week. Me pongo una en un avión la próxima semana. Regis Philbin. Get on a plane the next week. La próxima semana. Little John and the Yin Yang Twins. Little John and the Yin Yang Twins. I didn't know who this was. Yo no sabía quién este era. I looked at my friend. I said, "Is that Little John?" Le dije. Is that little Flip? Is that little Wayne? I said, why is he little? So anyway, I'm sitting there talking to him, and I said, how's it going? And he said, what? He said, what? I said, hey. He said, what? I said, what? I said, hey. He said, what? I said, how are you? He said, okay. Okay. Nuts. Get on the plane the next week. And literally, uh, one of the most famous Soap opera stars in America. Una de las de las telenovelistas más famosos en los Estados Unidos. What is my point? 
¿Cuál es mi punto? These are just phony heroes. Estos solamente son héroes falsos. And we put them up on pedestals. Y los podemos en pedestal. Like they're amazing. Como si son asombrosos. And just because they can dunk a ball. Solo porque pueden donkear. Or just because they're on television. Solo porque están en la televisión. Or just because they're in the movies. O solo porque están en una película. We put them up on pedestals los, and say, man, look how amazing they are. Los podemos en un pedestal y decimos, wow, qué asombrosos son. What is my son? point to you today? ¿Cuál es mi punto hoy? The disciples were walking around with the son of the living God. Los discípulos estaban caminando con el hijo de Dios. And if I'm getting Dios. excited about a baseball player, si yo me puedo poner contento how do you think the disciples felt como los discípulos se walking into a town with Jesus? Caminando en una ciudad con Jesús. You think they walked in all on the low? ¿Tú crees que ellos caminaron bajito? They probably walked in, oh yeah, ellos oh yeah, he's Jesus, contento. he's Jesus. Jesus está aquí. And Jesus looked over and said, shut up. Y Jesús le decía, cállese. <laughs> They were with the Son of God. Then the little kids tried to come to Jesus. What did the disciples do? Hey, you kids, get out of here. That's Jesus Christ. He's famous. And I'm his friend. Then what did Jesus do? Looks over the disciples and says, You don't let those little kids come to me. You're out of the kingdom. Then what they do? Hey, kids, come here. He has candy. <laughs> Sit on his lap. En confianza, siéntese. Where's my keyboard player? ¿Dónde está mi pianista? I feel more spiritual when he plays behind me. Me siento más espiritual cuando toca el piano. So Jesus gets the disciples together in Jerusalem. So Jesús ajunta a sus discípulos. He says, "Hey guys, I'm going to change the way I've been doing things." Y le dice, "Voy a cambiar como yo estaba haciendo las cosas." I'm going to come here to Jerusalem. Voy a ir a Jerusalén. And I'm going to die here. Y voy a morir. And the disciples go, well, wait a second, Jesus. Y los dice, un You're segundo. just like 30 something years old. Tú solamente tienes como 30 años. People are just starting to hear about La gente you. Están comenzando We're going to wipe out the Romans. Vamos a sacar los You're going to be the king. Vas a ser el rey. Jesus said, no. Jesús le dice, no. I came here to Jerusalem. Yo vine a Jerusalén. And I came here to die. Yo vine a morir. And he did. Y él murió. In church, I have a feeling Iglesia, yo tengo un sentido that we're a lot like the disciples. Que nosotros somos muchos como los discípulos. The disciples wanted Jesus to stay around. Querían que Jesús se quedara. The disciples wanted Jesus to stay with them forever. Los discípulos querían que Jesús se quedara con ellos said, para no, siempre. If you're gonna follow me, Jesús le dijo, no, si me vas a seguir, you have to follow me to the cross. me tienen que seguir a la cruz. Jesus doesn't always stay right beside you. Jesús no siempre se queda al lado tuyo. Sometimes he pushes you out into a world. Mucho te sa él te saca en el hacia un mundo de riesgo y peligro. And it's going to stretch you. Y te va a estirar. And it's going to challenge you. Y te va a retar. But that's why you were created. Pero para eso fuiste creado. Ephesians says. Efesio dice. We were created. Fuimos creados. In Christ Jesus. En Cristo Jesús. He made us a masterpiece. Nos hizo una obra de arte. But the reason he created you. La razón por la cual te creó. Was to do good works. Es para hacer buen trabajo. That God prepared in advance. Que Dios preparó en adelantado. I want to tell somebody something today. Quiero decirle a alguien algo. God created you Dios te creó, and he made you so special y te hizo tan especial, and, he, and, he, and created you to do great things te creó para hacer cosas that are already in your future. Ya están en tu futuro. You can touch someone that I can't. Puedes tocar a alguien que yo no puedo tocar. I can touch someone that you can't. Yo puedo tocar a alguien que tú no puedes What tocar. did God create you to para do? Qué Dios te creó. What are you passionate about? ¿Cuál es tu pasión? Because when you find that thing, Cuando encuentras eso, That's the call of God on your life. Ese es el llamado de Dios sobre tu vida. Who would have ever thought that my friend que mi amigo Jason, Jason would lead people to Jesus not in a church hubiera traído gente a Cristo, no en una iglesia, but in a fighting ring. Pero en una, en un ring de, de pelea. I've got people in my life Yo tengo gente en mi vida that are winning people to Jesus que están ganando gente para Cristo, that would never darken the doors of a church. Que nunca hubieran entrado por la puerta de una iglesia. God can use you. Dios te puede usar. What are you passionate about? ¿Cuál es tu pasión? That's why he created para you. Eso fue que te creó. It's not fair no es justo for you to come into this church de que tú esta iglesia week after week semana tras semana and do nothing. Y haz nada. No hacen nada. You say, well, I'm not a minister. Y yo, pues yo no soy un ministro. Yes, you are. Si tú eres un ministro. The moment you said yes to Jesus, el momento que le dijiste sí a you Cristo, te convertiste en un ministro. The moment you gave him your life, cuando le diste tu vida, you became him a minister. Te convertiste en un ministro. Ministry is not something that just the pastor does. El ministerio no es algo que hace el pastor. Ministry is something that everybody gets involved in. El ministerio es algo que todo el mundo se envuelve. Tonight, esta noche, we're having a comedy night. Vamos a tener una noche de comedia. And I know that sounds crazy. Y yo sé que eso se escucha un poco loco. We started it about five years ago. Lo comenzamos cinco años atrás. I want you to get someone here tonight. Yo quiero que traigas a alguien that esta noche know Jesus. que no conoce a Jesús. Get someone here. Trae alguien aquí that doesn't like church. Que no le gusta la iglesia. How many know someone that doesn't like church? ¿Cuántos conocen a alguien que no le gusta la iglesia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many of you know someone? 
¿Cuántos conocen a alguien? Even the moment that you say church, que en el momento que tú dices iglesia, you just feel them kind of bow up. sientes a ellos Everybody knows somebody Cada uno conocemos that does not a know the Lord. Que no conoce a Dios. So here's what we're going to do. Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Don't call me a pastor. No me llame pastor. Don't call me an evangelist. No me llame un evangelista. Don't even call tonight a church service. Ni llames este esta noche un Just servicio. find unsaved family. Consigue familia que no están salva. Unsaved friends, neighbors. Amigos, vecinos. And just say, Deal. we're having a comedy night at our church. Tenemos una noche de comedia. But here's, here's what we found out. Esto es lo que investigamos. We found out that people that will never come to church Gente que nunca venían a la iglesia will come to a night of comedy. Irían a una noche de comedia. Well, it's a setup. <laughs> bueno, lo estamos preparando. <laughs> we're pulling a fast one. Estamos tirándole un gancho. Because I will do about 30 minutes of comedy tonight. Porque voy a hacer 30 minutos de comedia. But at the very end of the service, pero al final, I'm going to share my testimony. Voy a compartir mi testimonio. Of how I came to Jesus. Cómo yo vine a Jesús. They've become our largest altar calls. Y han, se han convertido en nuestros llamados de altar más grandes. Church, let me ask you this. Iglesia, déjame hacerte una pregunta. How many of you still believe? ¿Cuántos todavía creen? In a good old-fashioned Pentecostal altar call. En un llamado pentecostal altar. Come on, somebody, I still believe in an altar call. Yo todavía creo en un llamado believe that someone can come down to this place and change their life for the rest of their life. Six o'clock. De la tarde. I challenge you. Te reto. Get someone here. Trae alguien aquí. That does not know Jesus. Que no conoce a Cristo. If they spoke English, it would be a plus. Si hablan inglés, sería mejor. Can I bless you before we're done? Te puedo bendecir antes de terminar. We don't bless people anymore. Ya no bendecimos a las personas. And I don't understand why. Yo no entiendo por qué. Did you know that you can bless your day or you can curse your day? Sabes que tú puedes bendecir o maldecir tu día. You can bless your children, you can curse them. Puedes bendecir o maldecir tus your hijos. Your marriage, tu matrimonio, your finances, tus finanzas, your physical health. Tu salud física. You can bless it or you can curse it. Lo puedes maldecir o lo puedes so bendecir. So when I found out the power of words, cuando yo encontré el poder de palabras, I called my father on the phone. Yo llamé a mi papá. And I said, Dad, I want you to bless me. Y le dije, papi, quiero que me bendigas. He said, son, I pray for you all the time. Y me dice, hijo, yo oro por ti todos los días. And I said to my father, y le dije a mi padre, I'm not talking about praying for me. No te estoy pidiendo que ores por mí. I want you to bless me. Quiero que me bendigas. I want my father's blessing on my life. Quiero la bendición de mi padre sobre mi vida. So would you put your hands out like this? So pon tus manos afuera hacia así. Your hands are like this because you're going to receive it. Tus manos están en esta posición porque van a recibir. I put my hands forward because I give it to you. Yo pongo mi mano hacia adelante porque se lo voy a dar. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Que el Señor te guarde y te cuide. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. Que su rostro brillar sobre ti. And be gracious unto you. Y sea gracia sobre ti. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. Que levante su rostro sobre ti. Give you peace. Y darte paz. May He cover you with His name. Que te cubra con su nombre. The name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Father, for every outstretched hand. Padre, por cada mano estirada. Bless their families. Bendice su familia. Bless their children. Bendice sus hijos. Bless their finances. Bendice sus finanzas. Bless their health. Bendice su salud. Bless their jobs. Bendice su trabajo. Bless their relationships. Bendice su relación. Lord, for every outstretched hand. Por cada mano estirada. Bless them. Bendícelos. With favor unlike they've ever known. Con favor y merecido. And we look forward to good reports. Y vemos para buenos reportes. In the future of the mighty things you've done. En el futuro de las cosas poderosas que vas a hacer. I bless you now. Los bendigo. In Jesus name. En el nombre de Jesús. And everyone said. Y cada uno dice. Give the Lord praise in the room right now. Come on. Clap your hands all ye people. Ofrenda de alabanza. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Un grito de jubilo. Hallelujah. 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 Did that help somebody today? ¿Puedo ayudar a alguien hoy? Look at somebody and say, I have a passion. Mira a alguien, dile, tengo pasión. Say, I have a purpose. Dile, tengo propósito. Jesus created me. Jesús me creó. To touch others. Para tocar a otros. Amen. 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 In just a few moments. En algunos momentos. Pastor is going to come. Pastor va a venir. He's going to give you an opportunity to bless the ministry. Le va a dar una oportunidad para bendecir el ministerio. We travel all over the world. Viajamos a través del mundo. We've done it for 30 years. Lo hemos hecho por 30 años. We don't charge fees or have contracts. No tenemos contratos ni cobramos algo específico. Each place that we minister. Cada lugar donde ministramos. We just simply ask the pastor. Solamente le pedimos al pastor. To give the people an opportunity. Que le den al pueblo la oportunidad. To sow a seed into our ministry. De plantar una semilla en nuestro ministerio. How many of you know? 
when you sow a seed, ¿Cuántos saben que cuando plantan una you don't semilla, just get back a seed. No recibes una semilla. You get back a bush. Recibes para atrás. You get back a tree. Un árbol. How many know when you sow a seed? ¿Sabe cuando planta una God semilla? God always blesses you with more. Dios te bendice con más. And this is your opportunity. Esta es tu oportunidad. To sow a seed into our ministry. De plantar una semilla en nuestro ministerio. To help us travel all over the world. Para ayudarnos a viajar a través del mundo. To spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Llevando el evangelio de Cristo. And finally, y finalmente, if you took a card to sponsor a child, si tomó una carta para patrocinar un niño, please, 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 por favor, por favor, por favor, uh, don't, don't head out just quickly, but see me at the table. Si por favor me pueden encontrar al final en la mesa, I will tear your card out and you'll be on your way. Yo sacaré la información y usted puede seguir en su camino. Pastor, it's been an honor. Pastor, ha sido Would un you honor. welcome back, Pastor Eddie? God bless you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Gracias. Un fuerte aplauso para Pastor, Ro, Pastor Mike. Una bendición que poder escuchar It is a blessing to be able to hear de lo que Dios está haciendo con él y a través de él. What God is doing with him and through him. Y casa de mi gloria, nosotros sabemos sembrar en tierra fértil. House of my glory, we know how to plant in fertile soil. Y, y como hemos aprendido, vamos a honrar el ministerio del pastor. And in the manner that we have learned, que, let us honor the ministry. Voy a pedir a los huyeres, por favor, que me a pasar. I'm going to ask the ushers to come forward. Y, y en lo que ellos están pasando, ahí donde usted está, and as they're coming forward, just where you are, recordarle de las tarjetas que usted acaba de recibir. Remember, remind you about the cards that you just received. Y es una bendición poder ir a la segunda milla. It is a, it is a blessing to go the second mile y poder bendecir a un niño que está necesitado and bless a child that's in need. y también porque no bendecir el ministerio donde usted no puede ir pero nosotros podemos ir a través de nuestra ofrenda and bless the ministry where you can't go but they can go amen y nosotros somos una iglesia misionera así que sabemos we, sembrar we are a missionary church so we know how to sow y sabemos los que tenemos hijos sabemos que podemos también uh, Patrocinar a un niño. And those that have children know that we can sponsor a child. Y en lo que los sugieres están pasando, queremos as, recordarle nuevamente. As the ushers are going through, we want to remind you. Acerca de el, este próximo martes. This upcoming Tuesday. Para el equipo de soñadores de Casa de Mi Gloria. We have our dream team meeting. Todos aquellos que están uh, sirviendo en un ministerio. All of those that are serving in a ministry. Ya sea ujieres, sonido, alabanza, todos los ministerios donde se sirve. Usher, technicians, worship, all the ministries that es, serve. Está trabajando en una célula, líder, anfitrión, maestro, asistente. If you're working in a home group as a leader, as a host, as an assistant leader. En cualquiera de los ministerios es muy importante que usted esté este próximo martes a las 7. In whatever ministry you're serving, it's important for you to be here Tuesday at 7. Y también si usted quiere servir y aún no está conectado, esta es una excelente oportunidad. And if you want to serve and you're not connected, this is a great opportunity this Tuesday. Usted va a conocer los diferentes ministerios en los cuales ustedes se puede conectar y ser parte de la bendición de servir en la casa de Dios. You're going to be able to connect and see all the different ministries that you can connect with to serve in the house of God. Amen. Amen. El próximo domingo vamos a tener domingo de misiones. Next Sunday we're going to have our mission Sunday. Así que, um, pero el, el ministerio de misiones hoy tiene una actividad allá afuera. But the mission ministry has an activity outside. Porque como ustedes saben tenemos un calendario de actividades donde cuales ellos ya estaban programados para el día de hoy. So they were programmed to be here today based on our activity calendar. Por eso ustedes saben que nosotros somos una iglesia misionera. But you know we are a missionary church. Usted puede colaborar y bendecir a las naciones a través de lo que Dios ya te ha bendecido a ti. And you can collaborate and bless the nation with what God has already blessed you with. Amen. Póngase sobre sus pies. If you be on your feet, please. Y e invite hoy a alguien, tráigase un amigo, una amiga. Bring a friend tonight. Hoy tendremos una noche evangelística. We're going to have an evangelistic night. Porque usted escuchó al pastor, Dios lo usa en diferentes maneras. Y hoy va a haber una manera muy única donde usted puede traer a un amigo y puede también ser parte de aceptar a Cristo. As you have known, our pastor has a unique approach uh, to things. So bring a, a friend tonight. 
and uh, you can be part of them accepting Christ. Pero si hay alguien en esta mañana que le gustaría dar su vida a Cristo, queremos orar por ti. But if there's someone here right now that would love to give their life to Christ, we want to give you that opportunity. No queremos que esperes hasta en la tarde. Hoy le puedes dar tu vida a Jesucristo. We don't want you to wait till the afternoon. Right now you can give your life to Christ. Si Dios te trajo aquí en esta mañana es porque tiene planes para tu vida. If God brought you here this morning it's because he has plans for your life. Si estás pasando por situaciones en tu vida que necesitas una intervención divina de parte de Dios, queremos orar por ti. If you're going through some things this morning and you need God to intervene in your life, we want to pray for you. Y ahí donde usted está, ayúdenos a hablar a la persona que usted invitó. Right where you are, help us to speak with the person that you invited. No te vayas de la más de la misma manera que entraste. Don't walk out in the same way you walked in. Hoy te vas a con una visión más clara. Today you walk out with a clear vision. Hoy es el domingo de visión clara. Today is the vision Sunday. Dios nos está empoderando para poder ver claramente. God is empowering us so we can see clearly. Y veremos una gloria manifestada sobre este lugar. And we will see a manifest the glory upon this place. Veremos una gloria manifestada sobre nuestras familias. A manifest the glory over our families. Veremos una gloria manifestada sobre nuestros hijos. A manifest the glory over our children. Sobre nuestros matrimonios. Over our marriage. Oh, yo no sé cuántos creen eso. I don't know how many can believe it. Pero estamos declarando que Dios se va a manifestar de una manera poderosa. We're declaring that God is going to manifest Fest in a powerful way. Va a hacer cosas grandes con nosotros. He's going to do great things. Y a través de nosotros. Through us. Dios te quiere usar. He wants to use you. Es tiempo de que te conectes. It's time for you to connect. Es tiempo que este año tú te actives y le sirvas al Señor. It's time for you this year to activate and serve the Lord. Este año tú te levantas, varón de guerra. You get up, man of war. Los matrimonios se levantan. Marriages rise. Las familias se levantan. Families rise. Familias fortalecidas. Families strengthened. Matrimonios sanos. Marriages that are healed. Saludables. Healthy. Para servir al Señor. To serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Que Jehová te guarde. May God bless you. Que Jehová te bendiga. May God watch you. Que Jehová haga resplandecer su rostro sobre ti. Let his face shine upon you. Ponga en ti su paz. Put in you his peace. Y tenga de ti misericordia. And have mercy upon you. Y pondrán mi nombre sobre los hijos de Israel. And I will put my name over the children of Israel. Y yo los bendeciré. And I will bless them. Tengas una semana bendecida. Have a blessed week. Amen. Amen. Nos vemos hoy en la noche. We'll see you tonight.